Hi guys welcome back to my channel i am tk beauty and in today's video we have another makeup declutter where we are going to be decluttering bronzers facial mist miscellaneous products that i forgot to show you guys throughout the process of me decluttering and then we have some eye pigments that we're going to be decluttering as well so before we jump into this video if you guys are not subscribed to my channel go ahead click that subscribe button and click that notification bell also so that you'll know every time i upload a new video i would definitely love to have you guys to be a part of this channel so without further ado let's just jump right on into this video we're going to be going through a couple of miscellaneous products that i forgot to show you guys along the way okay so the first miscellaneous product that we have here this is the l'oreal true match super blendable correcting concealer and i told you guys i don't have a whole lot of correctors but totally forget that I have this one and I do actually like this one because you can twist this one up as you guys can see I have used this like here and there so I do like this one so I am going to be keeping this one another product that I forgot to mention to you guys this is the Fenty Beauty match stick in rum this is a highlighter stick from them and y'all I love this highlighter stick it's really like if you want to use this when you have those no makeup makeup days i think this would be really really pretty to wear but that's it right there how gorgeous is that of course i'm keeping that and then i have another this is a liquid highlighter that i have from danessa myricks i totally forgot about this this is in radiance and this is pretty as well it can be a little hard to come out this is danessa myricks this is Fenty. Both are really pretty. Next, like illuminator that I have is from Iman. I'm really hoping that at some point the Dollar Tree get these in because they have had Iman products there. I've gotten a few of them from the Dollar Tree, but I've not seen the liquid illuminating drops there. This is in Strut. These are really pretty, but this one y'all has dried out. It has really dried out. I don't know if you guys can even see that. It has dried out. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and I can show you guys a little bit. This is really pretty though. That's it right there. Really gorgeous. Oh, look at that, y'all. That's beautiful. But I'm going to have to probably repurchase this because this has really dried out. I, I used to use this all the time and now it has dried out. So I'm going to go ahead and toss this. Another product that I have, it is the Cinema Secrets Makeup Sanitizing Spray. I love to have this in my collection and this works wonders for just sanitizing your makeup and your brushes. I am keeping this. And then I also have the Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleaner. This is so bomb. When you just need to really quick clean your brushes, you don't have time to really clean them. This works wonders. I am going to be keeping this. So the first couple ones that I have are from Dollar Tree. They're both by Bolero. This one is the Soothing Facial Mist in Rose Water and Aloe. Now, I like the Bolero one in Cucumber and Aloe, I do believe, but I haven't seen that one at all. It's been quite some time since I've seen that one. That's my favorite one. That's the one I really like to like spray my face to set it or just to refresh my face but since they haven't had that one i've been picking up the rose water and aloe facial mist and i do really like this again i like to spray this when i like put my concealer underneath my eye and i do just spray a little bit of this on my beauty blender and it just helps me to blend my concealer and stuff out beautifully so I am going to be keeping this one and then I do have the facial mist in vitamin C plus cucumber this is an energy boost it's supposed to give your skin an energizing spritz of reviving ingredients for a radiant glow now this one does have like some shimmer in it I have not used this one yet I haven't even opened this one but I saw that it had the cucumber and the vitamin C and the radiant glow so y'all know that got me so I am going to hopefully at some point this year open this and use it so I'm gonna keep it speaking of Dollar Tree I just recently picked up the Be Pure matte finishing spray this is infused with niacinamide and I haven't of course like I said I just picked this up so I haven't used it so I'm curious to see how this is going to work for me so I am keeping that another Dollar Tree facial mist this is the LA colors face mist refresher in cucumber it has a hydrated formula 
and I picked this up maybe maybe about a month ago I have used this up that's how much I love cucumber for my face I love cucumber as a setting mist so y'all I have used this up if I see this in a Dollar Tree I am going to pick it up I haven't seen it in there since so but I do like this this is almost gone so I'm gonna finish that up I do have a couple of setting sprays from elf so the first one that I have from elf is the sun touchable all set for sun this has a SPF of 45 it's supposed to give you some protection plus it's a setting spray and um, this is it I honestly this sun touchables not necessarily sure if this is like my favorite elf products i will say i definitely like this better than i like the actual um sunscreen that you have to pump out and put on i like the setting that's better i like it i don't love it so i probably wouldn't repurchase this but i am gonna keep this in my collection okay the other two setting sprays that i have by elf one is the stay all night micro fine setting spray mist it's supposed to last up to 16 hours and then the other one is the dewy coconut setting mist and this one just says long lasting so this is how they both look this one is in the green packaging now this one it's a dupe for the urban decay all-nighter setting spray which this works really really well for the money elf did a great job with this my problem with this is that you see how this is not spraying out it's not spraying you know why because it gets stuck and so after a few uses of this you have to run this under warm water in order to get this to work again I don't like that that's the only thing I don't like about this product but as far as how it sets your makeup and stuff this works amazingly so I'm gonna have to run this under some warm water but I'm gonna go ahead and keep her and then the other one this is more of like if you have dry skin which I do and if you don't want the stay all night which would be like the matte version then the dewy one is really nice as well I will say I do prefer the stay all night one over the dewy one but I do like the nozzle and how this sprays out because look at this it works y'all it works so I like that about this because it does work and this one sets your makeup really nicely as well I think I just prefer the, the matte one over the, the white one but I am going to be keeping them both another setting spray that I have is by Fenty Beauty this is the baby what it do travel size facial mist and I did enjoy this do like this I'm keeping that okay speaking of the urban decay all-nighter setting spray I have it and I'm running low. I think I'm gonna repurchase this during the Sephora sale next month. This works really, really well. But again, if you don't wanna pay the money for this, then L All Nighter Spray is really good as well. But I like this one and I am going to be keeping this because I don't have much left in here, y'all. It's just a little left. I have one beauty supply primer and setting spray. This is by the Magic Collection. This is the two-in-one micro fine mist this is this is okay this is not bad um i think for for the money this is okay so i am going to be keeping this because i don't well, i don't know how much i don't think it's a lot left in here either because i have definitely gotten my use out of this i don't know if i would like repurchase this right away though because I think I would want to try something else. I am keeping. The next setting spray that I have is by One Size. This is their Go Off Makeup Dissolving Mist. This is one of those products that I had added to my, my little organizer to kind of use up. I do like this. I probably would repurchase this at some point, but I do like this and I am keeping it. And the last two setting sprays that I have in my collection, I have the travel size and I have a full size. This is the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray party all night stay all day and like I said I have the full size and I have the travel size so you guys can see this is about gone and I've used quite a bit of this I love this setting spray I love it I love it I love it I do feel like though just like what I told you guys with the elf product I feel like after a couple of uses of this though you definitely need to run this under warm water to get it to spray or you might just have to just keep pumping it in order for it to come out but nevertheless 
I feel like this just sets your makeup really nicely and it definitely makes your makeup last a long time and it is good for I feel like all skin types so even if you have dry skin this definitely will still I feel like work for you or I think it's worth giving a try to see if it'll work for you but I have dry skin and it works it works really really well for me so I am going to be keeping both of these so the first bronzer kind of set that I have here is actually by Kaja and I don't know why I thought this was Kasa's but no this is Kaja but this is the set here and y'all I love this little set here because you get a blush the blush is really pretty it's like a mauvey tone blush and then when you open it again you have this beautiful highlighter I'll swatch the highlighter for you guys so you can see that can y'all see that? That's so gorgeous. It also comes with a cream bronzer, which is absolutely gorgeous. Look how dark that is. That's absolutely gorgeous. Very creamy, easy to blend out. I absolutely love this little set, so I'm going to be keeping this. The next palette that I have, is, this is by ColourPop. This is their Such a Rush Cheek Palette. I've used it all kind of ways. I've used it as bronzer, I've used it as highlighter, I've used it as eyeshadow. And I just love this, y'all. My packaging is toe up, though. It's it's hanging on. Well, it's it's toe up. Y'all can tell I have been using this to death, and so I am going to be keeping this because I love this little palette. ColourPop has so much good stuff. I really need to go on their website and see what they have on there that's new. I really kind of want some ColourPop stuff. But anyway, I, I digress. Anyway, I have two of the Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzers in mahogany. I absolutely love this bronzer. I like to mix this with another bronzer that I'm gonna mention later on, but I love it. I love to mix it, but I also like to use this by itself. It's really nice and warm and um, yeah, I love this. And so I have a backup of this because they had, this was some time ago, but they had started to put the bronzers out in TJ Maxx and Marshalls. And so when I saw it in there, I bought it because I only spent like $10 for it. So this is a backup of it. And so I'm gonna be keeping both of these in my collection. The next cream contour palette I have is by Ruby Kisses. And I really like this palette. This is in dark and I don't use all of the colors in here. This is how it looks. I really only use this one and you guys can see how much I have used of this. Look how pretty that is. I use this one sometimes. I may mix the two, but outside of that, I really just use this color here. I think I've used this one once just to kind of use as a concealer. I am going to be keeping this and I did pick this up from the beauty supply store. The next palette I have here, this is actually a, a blush trio. So this should have been included with the blushes, but I'm going to show you guys anyway. This is from Morphe. This is their blush trio in Pop of Rose. This is really pretty, just really subtle um, blushes. And the middle one you can actually use as either a blush topper or highlighter. So this is a really beautiful blush palette. So I am going to keep that. The next bronzer that I have is from Patrick Ta. This is the Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo in She's Chiseled. First of all, I love the packaging on here, even though mine is dirty. I don't use this like I really need to and should, but I really do like this. Of course, you have a mirror, but here is the bronzers here, and I think the colors are beautiful. This is the cream shade here, and then this is the powder. I do like this. I just, I really need to get more use out of my Patrick Ta stuff, so. I am keeping this. I was thinking about actually, this is off subject, getting like the Patrick Ta eyeshadow palette. I don't have any Patrick Ta palettes, so I was thinking about getting that all matte one. And so I may because it looks really pretty, but I I haven't gotten it because I'm like, oh, but you have a lot of like matte um, neutral tone eyeshadow palettes but I really do like that one so we'll see during the Sephora sale but anyway the next bronzer we have here is from Charlotte Tilbury this is the airbrush bronzer in number four this is it y'all I love this bronzer 
beautiful 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 i am so glad i picked this up i like to use this um when i'm not using the anastasia beverly hills one and the fenty one then i'm using this one because this is absolutely beautiful love it so we're gonna be keeping this the next bronzer i have it is from absolute new york this is their Miami Sunshine Press Bronzer in Dark. It's going to give you a natural sun kiss filter. Y'all, when I say this is like in my top five bronzers that I have in my collection, this is in my top five because this is absolutely beautiful. I paid $8 for this and this is probably the best $7.99 I have ever spent and um, you get a lot of product in here. I don't know if I'll ever see pan, but I have gotten a lot of use out of this product. May not look like it, but I have. I love this, especially like in the summertime, like on vacation, just, you know, even when I'm not going anywhere, I love to just pull this out. It's so beautiful, so I'm absolutely, keeping this in my collection. Okay, I have the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. This is it, I have the Tiger. This is the darkest shade here, the Tiger. Um, they did have it where you could customize the cover, but I picked mine up so I couldn't do that. This is kind of like a blush highlighter palette, and then you kind of get a little bit of a powder here. I like this palette. I'm not inclined to use this like that. I don't know why. I mean, it's beautiful. It's Now, one thing about Hourglass from what I've used, they're very subtle. Look at that highlighter. It's beautiful, but it's subtle. This is a very beautiful palette i just really need to use this more but you can build up the colors and stuff so i am gonna be keeping this this y'all the money i paid for this this ain't going away okay and then now we're down to our last two bronzer palette first one is from morphe this is the face palette in 8r and i really like this face palette had it in my collection for a while and it's probably going to be in my collection for a while get a nice mirror but here are the colors here and you get you get like bronzer shades you get highlighter or blush toppers and then you get your blushes and stuff in here i absolutely love this this is so beautiful i am keeping this i did pick this up at ulta oh i think i have one more face palette okay sorry i have one more face palette after this one this one is the black radiance true complexion contour palette this is from medium to dark now this is just the regular one they do have a cream one which i definitely wouldn't mind checking out but again my problem is i don't use all of this that middle shade i only use use the two shades in here this highlighter and then this contour shade here but i do like this palette so i am going to be keeping it and then the final face palette we have is from the sephora pro collection this is their face palette in deep y'all this is absolutely beautiful but i don't reach for this like that either this is absolutely beautiful you get nice like bronzy contour shades in here but you get like beautiful blushes and highlighters or blush toppers in here just beautiful so why i don't reach for this like that i don't know but i am gonna keep it i am going to be like i said i think i'm gonna go back to doing like shop my stash videos so that i can really start using my stuff a little bit more so i'm keeping this so now we're going to be going through eye pigments because this would have been too much to include with my eyeshadow highlights and stuff so i included it here i'm going to go through the danessa myricks one first so i have two of the danessa myricks vision blushes i have one in nutcracker and i have the other in crave so i'm going to swatch these for you guys this is nutcracker and this is craze both, both very beautiful. I am going to be keeping these so I can get more use out of those. Okay, and then I have 
quite a few of her color fixes. I think I have about seven of these. So let's go through these really quickly. Okay, so I have four mattes, one cream, one glaze, and one nude. So I'm gonna do the nude first. That's the nude right there. This is nude number, I don't know the shade of this, but this is one of her nudes, which is really, really beautiful. So I'm going to be keeping that. And then I have one of her creams in Ballerina. This is gorgeous. That's Ballerina there. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm keeping. And this is one of her glazes. Now, I have not used this. Uh, I think I'm a little intimidated by this one. This one is in Cappuccino. So let's swatch that. It's Cappuccino. Beautiful. Um, so I'm keeping that. Then I have four mattes and the first one is in Desert Rose. I actually use this in a makeup tutorial. If I can, I will link it in the cards above so you guys can check that out. That's Desert Rose. Really, really pretty. And again, these you can use on the eyes, the cheeks, the lips. You can use them however you want. So the next one that I have, it's in Exposed. This is like a nude shade as well. That's Exposed. This is really pretty on the lid. And then I have another matte. This is in Chocolate. Oh, this is gorgeous, y'all. I saw her use this on one of her models and absolutely gorgeous. Look at that chocolate. Isn't that pretty? Gorgeous. I'm keeping this. And then the very last color fix that I have by Danessa Myricks is black. And that's in the shade Blackout, by the way. And that's the black there. Look how black that is. That's super pigmented. I am keeping all of these. I really do like her color fixes. When you want like a quick eyeshadow look, just put that on your lid, blend that out, and go on about your day, or just something on your lips. These are really bomb for that. Oh, I have one more Danessa Myricks item. This is one of her pigments in Strobe Light. I've never used this, but it was so pretty. I would definitely repurchase this, but I never got a chance to use this. It's so dried up. This is going to go in the trash. The next liquid eyeshadow I have here is from Juvia's Place. This is in Fula. I think that's what I'm saying, Fula. That's it. I have not used this, but this is so pretty. Can you guys see that? That's Fula from Juvia's Place. So I'm gonna be keeping this. And then I have an e.l.f. liquid eyeshadow. I don't know what this color is in. So let's, but this is the packaging on it. Like a greenish gold color. Really pretty. I'm gonna keep it for now because I'm gonna try to use that. I have a bunch of MAC pigments in here, some of which I am gonna have to let go of. Well, we'll see. So I have some of their big pigments. And then I have this, this was from a holiday collection. It's how I got all of these pigments. I got about five of them in my hand. So let's start with the big ones first. So with the big one, oh, I don't think I'm giving away any of these. The big one, this is in Naked. I love Naked. Love it. Can you guys see the color? That's it right there. I don't know if you guys can see like how pretty that really is. It's really a gorgeous, lid shade really really pretty and it has a little sparkle in it too we're keeping now the only thing with the pigments they are messy okay the other pigment that i have is called rose this is beautiful can y'all see that oh i'm ugh. i have nothing to give away i have nothing to give away y'all see rose she's really pretty that's it right there it's gorgeous y'all this ain't doing it no justice, but it's really pretty. I'm keeping her. I'm keeping Rose. And then the last big pigment that we have is in Melon. Oh, God. I'm keeping this too. I already know I am. Can y'all see that shade? This is beautiful. I am not going on with my hand right now. But that's it. I am keeping... I do have another MAC pigment in Tan. Oh, I got Tan. Hmm. Let me see if we're going to keep Tan. Oh, Tan is beautiful. Tan is beautiful. We're keeping this. And then I have... I don't know the name of this. I don't even know if you can still get this because this was from a holiday collection. But this is one of their pigments. I may let this go since I have this big one in Nude. Well, let me see. Even though it puts me in the mindset of naked, it's different though. I'm keeping it okay and then we have a mac pigment in oh wait i need to make they get to make this print a little bit larger for your girl now i don't know this is like a pretty brown
ground though. That's really pretty. I don't think y'all gonna be able to see it cause it's gonna look like dirt. But it's like right up in here. I don't know if y'all can see that, but um, I'm gonna keep this too. See, I'm, it's hard for me to get rid of my stuff. The other two pigments, that's the other pigment. We're keeping that. I'll show you guys since I didn't get a chance to show you. Got like a little brown and gold and stuff in there. We're keeping that. And then the last MAC pigment that I have, I don't know the name of this either, but this is how it looks. Really pretty. We're probably keeping this too. That's it right there. Can y'all see that? That's really pretty. Oh yeah. Okay. These pigments ain't going nowhere. And then I do have an NYX pigment. This was one of my favorites. This was in this was in Mocha Pearl. This is by NYX. Y'all remember these pigments? I've had this for so long. And I'm gonna have it even longer because I'm gonna have to let this go. That's Mocha Pearl at the top. I'm definitely keeping that. I have one more pigment and a couple of eyeshadows. So the other eyeshadow pigment I have is by Makeup Geek. This is in the shade Utopia. Really pretty, really sparkly. I'm gonna be keeping this. I have not used this, which is not no surprise. From ColourPop, I have the Super Shock eyeshadow in Birthday Wish, which this is really pretty. I have, I probably have only used this once. I don't even think you guys can really see it. It's not really coming across on camera like that, but I am keeping it. Okay, these I recently got. These are by ColourPop as well. I bought these during like Christmas time. I got French and I got Ritz. So I haven't used these yet, but let's go ahead and swatch them. This is Ritz and this is French. So I'm gonna be keeping both of those. These are really pretty. The last three items we have are eyeshadows from MAC. The first one is in Humid. Oh my God, I love this color. It's a beautiful green shade. Look how pretty that is. Beautiful. I am keeping that. And then I have Red Brick. Y'all remember when Red, Red Brick was that color? I love Red Brick. That's it right there. I don't know if I'm gonna use this. I'm probably gonna give that away because I don't really use red brick like that. And then the last color is Carbon. Y'all remember Carbon by MAC. Oh my goodness, this is aging me. And then that's Carbon there. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this because I always be needing a black. That's everything guys. We went through all of the bronzers, the eye pigments, and we went through miscellaneous products and uh, setting sprays. We managed to get rid of only three products in here. Two of them are going in the garbage. One will be going to somebody. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget guys to hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell also, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.